The Pulse School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers and BASF. Dennis Lang, Provincial Pulse Specialist with Manitoba Agriculture, joins us here on uh, Real Agriculture. We're at the Crop Diagnostics School in Carmen. And Dennis, we've of course seen a major increase in pea acres here on the eastern side of the prairies this year. And we're starting to see some, uh, some aphid issues showing up, potentially reaching threshold. Yes, in certain fields around the province right now, uh, we're at the stage where um, some of the later seeded uh, pea fields are in that uh, late flowering stage. Uh, pods are just starting to form. And uh, at that stage, uh, threshold levels uh, in some fields are, are reaching uh, anywhere from 90 to 120 aphids in 10 sweeps. Um, at those levels, that's where a spray would determine, uh, uh, would be beneficial for you to spray at those levels. Anything below that, then you might want to wait a little bit because there are some good beneficial insects that uh, will help to keep those population levels down. And the other thing that's rather interesting with the pea aphid is that um, if they are uh, projecting a heavy rain or wind uh, coming up, you may want to wait until after that rain because a lot of those aphids will get washed down the canopy. Uh, it's a little different with soybean aphids. Soybean aphids don't have that same effect because they cling to the plant quite a bit. And in pea aphids, though, uh, if you do get those big rains, then uh, uh, they will wash those canopies down. So again, threshold levels between 90 and 120 and, and 10 sweeps of a sweep net. That has to be at that stage that we're at now where the flower, there's still a few flowers and the seed pods are fairly flat. Once you get that seed forming and you get a nice uh, uh, seed formation in the pod, then you're past the uh, area where any damage from aphids will come into play. So uh, that's why you have to really pay attention to the staging. So once we've done our 10 sweeps, we uh, investigate to what we see and we look inside and you can see, they're a lot easier to see. You can see some green aphids just showing up right in here. Uh, not too many in this particular sample here. Uh, we're looking for a little bit more here. Um, basically just found that one in here. The populations were a little higher last week. We were seeing upwards of 30 in here, but still not at uh, economic levels yet. And we've had a lot of rain here recently here too. That could be why the levels are a little bit lower. So, but it's really important to scout and just don't make assumption of spraying. And especially if you're spraying too early, um, you could be killing off some beneficial insects. So I want to make sure you reach those threshold levels before you spray.